Earlier this week and Fleetwood Mac on the way. What about our homegrown talent? Well, South Australia certainly has a stellar musical pedigree, which continues today with international stars like Sia. So Graham Archer went to see if across the generations there was any common ground in picking our top original compositions. And it hopefully, regardless of your age, will be music to your ears. Our track record is brilliant. As a matter of fact, uh, in the 60s, it was just, it was revolutionary. Now, everyone can make music, they're putting it on the internet, they're not just listening to the radio, people are on Spotify, they're on YouTube. We love homegrown talent. It's great to see the likes of Sia, Hilltop Hoods, Guy Sebastian soar through the charts and crack it overseas. But it's not just the performance that makes for greatness, it's also creating original material. South Australians have a proud history as musical innovators. The Twilights, for example, they... I just can't tell you how good they were. I know that uh, Glenn Shorrock, for example, when they first went to Melbourne, they were worried that they wouldn't be good enough, and they, they not only were good enough, they were the best. With that in mind, we asked the rockers of different ages to pick their top five original South Aussie songs across the ages. Radio legend John Pemberton. I hate the fact that so much of it is like McDonald's. It's like m music now. And the current Hit 107 Breakfast co-host, Amos Gill. I want to speak for my generation. Yeah, speak for your generation. <laughs> Who recorded my generation? Uh, the Who. Very good. Yeah. So will Gen Y and Gen, I can't remember why, see eye to eye? You guys are generations apart. Would you say that? Yeah, I'd say so, I think. I will can't we, see it. <laughs> will we find some common ground here on South Australia's I don't song? think in Can't see that either. No. Can't see that either, no. I, I, don't, I don't think uh, Pembo has a hilltop hoods t-shirt in his closet. No, home. but they're good. You like they that? They are good. They're very good and they're local and yes, I do like the Hilltop Woods. Well, that's one step better than me and my dad, so we're off to a flyer. So let's get serious with some candidates. We had the Twilights, the Masters Apprentices, we had Johnny Broom and the Handles, all these bands that, and basically they were English immigrants. And people are now really famous, like all day, off YouTube, he, he puts out his raps. And you would have no, a lot of people would have no idea who he is. If you look at someone like Sia, yes, look what she's done. She's extraordinary, absolutely extraordinary. Ben Folds uh, lived in Adelaide for four years and he wrote a song called Adelaide. It's one of my favourite songs. Have you, have you heard that before? Love it, love Ben Folds. It seems music crosses the generational divide. There's no generation gap here. We've, we've built a bridge. I really feel like I'm letting down Gen Y. I no, should you say, know what? We're who's he? Be, we're on today, tonight. We're supposed to be fighting I each know. other by now. How do we feel about Paul Kelly? Does he count as South Australian? He was born here. Look, I'll take it. I'll take Paul Kelly every day because he's a genius. I was only 19. Red gum. Are they anywhere near this? Red gum uh, mm. are up there. Um... I was only 19, once again, a song that uh, touched a generation, still still resonates. This is it, folks. Over the top. The Angels toured with the Kinks, were booted off a Kinks tour in America because they kept st stealing the show, and Ray Davies said, I don't want this band anywhere near me, and they were about to play Madison Square Garden. That was their big chance. They were the band that got away. They would have been huge. To me, a classic iconic South Australian song would have to be written here or by South Australian and recorded by predominantly South Australians. Enrico Marina from the SA Music Hall of Fame has put together his own list of SA's best songs. Cold Chisel K. San, Masters Apprentices Living in a Child's Dream, The Angels Take a Long Line, one from left field, Doug Ashdown, Winter in America, which is a classic song as well, and finally you can't leave out LRB reminiscing I'd say. This month, the Hall of Fame has chosen 10 favourite songs to be recorded by up-and-coming young Adelaide singers under the original artist's supervision. We're calling the project Yesterday's Heroes. People can get involved by buying tickets 20 to 10 sessions at Mixmaster Studios in the Adelaide Hills, an iconic studio. While that's a work in progress, let's finalise our top five. See it, clap your hands, Paul Kelly to her door, Hilltop Hoods, Nosebleed section, Ben Folds 5, Adelaide, 
and just one for all my family in the country, Cold Chisel, K-San. Twilight's 1966 Needle in a Haystack. Mm -hmm. To her door, Paul Kelly, he's our Bob Dylan. The Angels take a long line, 1978. Cold Chisel when the war is over. And my number one song is undecided by the Masters Apprentices because, like I said, it was so unexpected, it, it really changed things. <laughs> Some good choices there and some of those musos will be at the David Day Tribute Concert next week. Ticket details are on our website for that and the Yesterday's Heroes Project as well.